Vanguard Church coming at you. Mr. Aaron here. What's going on, all you Vanguard kids? I've missed you. It's been a long time. <laughs> so, hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hola. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's great to see you guys. So, I wanted to jump into an update, give you guys a little background what's going on here, because I've got a lot of good plans coming up for you guys. So, let me start with an apology. You guys haven't seen a fresh video from Vanguard for a while, so I am really sorry about that. I'll take full responsibility. Uh, there's a lot of pieces, moving parts, and technical things that go into making some videos for you guys. So, um, I will make sure, going forward, that you guys get a fresh video every weekend from now on. Sound good? Yeah! Let's do this! <laughs> so, I'm going to change things up just a little bit to make that happen. One of those things, you guys are going to see these videos uh, a little bit shorter than they have been. They've been getting a little bit longer and harder to make, so I'm going to shorten them up for you. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, another thing, did you know, I'm not really going to get into a Bible lesson today, but I can't really help but talk about Jesus just a little bit. So, did you know that Jesus was not boring? Did you know that? True story. Whenever I read the Bible, he just doesn't seem like a boring guy. He seems like he's full of energy, full of charisma, full of all kinds of fun. And so when I go to church, when I read the scriptures, when I do all those good things, that those things to me, they're not boring. If they are boring, I don't think they're really doing it the right way. <laughs> not pointing my fingers at anybody. I'm just saying, don't. <laughs> All right. So, man, did you know that nothing is impossible for him that believes? If you believe that you can do something, you can. Now, I'm not making up that idea. That was Jesus' idea. He said that, and he said it more than once. People believed him. And you know what? I don't think anybody believed those words more than Jesus did. Check this out. The man who said this, these are red letters in your Bible. Nothing is impossible for him that believes. This is the guy who spoke to a man who had a, a busted hand that didn't work. It was all shriveled up. His hand opened right up, started working again. This is the man who told his disciples, let's get into the boat and go to the other side. And Jesus falls asleep in the boat. A storm starts raging. All these waves are crashing against the boat. And the disciples think they're going to die because it's such a bad storm. They think everybody's going to drown. It's going to be a shipwreck. Jesus is asleep. They wake him up. He says, they say, what are you doing? Sleeping. We're going to die. This is the guy who said, he wakes up. He's like, Where, where's your faith, guys? He looked at the storm. Waves, wind crazy rain he just says peace be still and all the waves that were like small mountains they went flat like a piece of glass flat the wind stopped the rain stopped it was just so peaceful he said nothing's impossible nobody believed that more than he did he's the guy who said uh, what else did he do? How about when, all right, all right, other people start hearing of the miracles that Jesus did. And some lady, I told this story to you guys before, you know it. She was sick in her body and she would bleed a lot. She knew, if I just get close to him, if I just get close to Jesus and I touch 
the hem of his garment. That's like just the edge of the clothes that he's wearing. If she just touched the edge of the clothes that he's wearing, she would be healed. Now this lady, she spent all her money on doctors for years that were supposed to fix her and make her better, and she was only left worse. Medical science could not help her. Nobody could figure out what was wrong. She said, I know Jesus Christ is the healer, and I just got to get close enough, and I will be made whole. You guys know what happened. She got up close to Jesus in a huge crowd of people. She touched the edge of his clothes, and instantly she could tell on the inside of her body, boom, she was healed. She stopped bleeding completely and didn't bleed anymore. <laughs> So, Jesus is, like, the epitome. He is the, the very essence. The, um, let me, what's an easy word to understand? He is the best example of the belief that nothing is impossible. If you believe. That lady, she believed, and she got made whole. Jesus believed that whatever he said was true. It would happen. It's just how it, it's just what happened, man. That's just how it is. So we don't see anybody doing more miracles than Jesus did. He was known for it. This guy's always doing miracles. He's healing sick people. He's raising people from the dead. He's speaking to a storm and it's going still. When there was a food shortage, he multiplied this little tiny bit of food to feed a ton of people. He did that more than once. His one disciple, John, who's one of my favorites. I have like 12 favorite disciples, but he, so he's like on the list. John said in the Gospel of John that Jesus did so many miracles that if you wrote them down, all the books in the world could not contain them. What? All the books that were existing in the world could not fit all the miracles that Jesus did in them. That's crazy to think about. That's crazy. This man was just walking in creative faith everywhere he went. But there was a guy who was a paralytic. That means his appendages didn't work. Arms, the legs, they, there was no walking, there was move, no moving the arms. That was, that didn't work. And his friends, this guy had four friends, who Jesus was teaching in a house one day, and there was a crowd so big, because Jesus was so awesome and so fun to be around that they couldn't help him, but there was just this huge crowd. Anyway, they broke a hole in the roof, his friends did, and they lowered him from the roof down in front of where Jesus was teaching. <laughs> just wild to think. <laughs> just putting a hole in the roof and lowering this guy who can't walk down in front of Jesus just so he would heal him. Anyway, Jesus was thrilled. <laughs> He's like, you guys got incredible faith. And so Jesus is like, take up your mat and walk. And the guy whose arms and legs didn't work, they started working, and he picked up the bed he was laying on, and he walked away. I mean, nothing is impossible with Jesus. He just believed it. And he gave us that same power. It's called faith. You just have to believe what you're saying and it's true it happens miracles happen it's supernatural that's how we're supposed to be if we really are disciples of jesus if we really are children of god this is who we are we're just like jesus we speak and life happens life is created good things begin taking place impossible things start happening hey next time someone tells you you can't do that. And it's not, not because it's like a bad thing that you're going to do, but something it's just something that they don't believe you can actually do it. When somebody says to you, yeah, you can't do it. That's, that's impossible. That should trigger something on the inside of you where you say, ooh, nothing's impossible for me because I believe it. And so whatever that impossible thing is, you can do it. Good things, okay? We're not talking about bad things. We're not talking about evil stuff. Good things, good things. Helping people, making a way where there seems like there is no other way. Nothing's impossible for those that believe.
All right, all right. We'll stop talking about all these scripture stories and everything. I just want you guys to know that coming up, we're going to have a lot of fun in a shorter amount of time. Hopefully I can squeeze me in there. <laughs> okay, well, we'll catch you next week. Next week, I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek, okay? I'll give you a sneak peek. I'm going to give you, wait, wait, how do I say this? The Bible's take on medicine to make you better, okay? A lot of people are sick, and they need medicine. But it's not the kind of medicine that you're probably thinking about, okay? So we're going to talk about that next week. See you guys then. Later. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. See ya. Adios. Hasta la vista. See ya. Mr. Aaron, out. Bye. See ya. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Good night. Night. Good day, sir. Sir? Adios. Goodbye. Bye. 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 See ya. Later. This Hi! Hello! Hi! Hey! Hola! Hello! Hello! Hi! Hi! Hello! Hello!